Roots of Joan of Arc Joan of Arc, the Maid of Orleans and her Enduring Legacy Joan of Arc, also known as Jeanne d'Arc, is one of history's most remarkable and inspiring figures. Born in 1412 in Domremy, a small village in northeastern France, she rose from humble beginnings to lead French forces to several significant victories during the Hundred Years' War. Her visions, leadership, and martyrdom transformed her into a symbol of faith, nationalism, and resilience. While she lived a short life, Joan of Arc's legacy has endured for centuries, making her a national heroine of France and a canonized saint in the Catholic Church. Early Life and Visions Joan was born into a peasant family during a tumultuous time in French history. The Hundred Years' War, 1337-1453, between England and France had devastated much of the French countryside. England, allied with the powerful Duchy of Burgundy, occupied vast portions of northern France, including Paris. At the same time, the French monarchy was weakened, and the legitimate heir to the throne, the Dauphin Charles, later Charles VII, was not yet crowned king, as the English claimed the French throne. At around the age of 13, Joan began experiencing visions, which she claimed were divine messages from Saint Michael, Saint Catherine, and Saint Margaret. These voices urged her to take an active role in liberating France from English domination and ensuring that Charles was crowned king. Joan's belief in her mission was unwavering, and despite her young age and lack of military experience, she was determined to act on these divine commands. The Hundred Years' War Context By the time Joan began her mission, the French were in a desperate situation. The English had won a series of key battles, and their control of northern France was solidified with the signing of the Treaty of Troyes in 1420. This treaty disinherited the Dauphin Charles and recognized Henry VI of England as the legitimate heir to the French throne. This left Charles with little hope of reclaiming his birthright, as the English and Burgundian forces controlled large parts of France. One of the most significant strongholds still under French control was the city of Orleans, a critical point for both the French and the English. The Siege of Orleans, which began in 1428, was a turning point in the war, and the French knew that losing the city would be catastrophic for their cause. Joan's Rise to Prominence At the age of 16, Joan left her village and journeyed to the court of the Dauphin Charles in Chinon. After overcoming skepticism and opposition, she gained an audience with Charles and convinced him of her divine mission to lead the French army to victory. Impressed by her determination and fervor, Charles provided Joan with troops and armor. Joan's presence and the belief in her divine inspiration reinvigorated the French soldiers and gave them hope in a seemingly unwinnable situation. Clad in white armor and carrying a banner depicting Jesus and the Virgin Mary, Joan led the French army to lift the siege of Orleans in May 1429. Her leadership and courage, along with the newfound morale she inspired in her troops, resulted in a significant victory for the French. This battle marked a turning point in the Hundred Years' War, as it shifted the momentum in favor of the French and earned Joan the title the Maid of Orleans. Following the victory at Orleans, Joan continued to lead French forces in several other important campaigns. Her presence became symbolic of France's national struggle, and she played a key role in the campaign to crown Charles VII. Joan convinced Charles to march toward the city of Reims, the traditional site of French coronations, which was held by the English. After a series of victories, the French entered Reims, and Charles was crowned king on July 17, 1429, with Joan standing beside him as a symbol of divine favor. Capture and Trial Despite her successes, Joan's fortune soon turned. In 1430, during a military campaign to liberate the city of Compiègne, she was captured by Burgundian forces, who were allied with the English. Joan was handed over to the English, who saw her as a threat to their control over France. They sought to undermine her reputation and legitimacy by putting her on trial for heresy and witchcraft. Joan's trial was a politically motivated affair, designed to discredit both her and Charles VII, whom she had helped crown. 
The trial was conducted by pro-English clergy under the authority of Bishop Pierre Cauchon, a staunch supporter of English interests. Joan, a devout Catholic, was accused of numerous charges, including dressing in male clothing, which she wore in battle, and claiming to receive divine visions. Despite her strong defense and unwavering faith, Joan was ultimately convicted of heresy. On May 30, 1431, at the age of 19, Joan of Arc was burned at the stake in the marketplace of Rouen, a city under English control. Her last words were reported to be Jesus, Jesus. Her death marked the end of her brief but extraordinary military career. However, her execution did not diminish her impact. Instead, it solidified her status as a martyr and a symbol of French resistance. Posthumous Rehabilitation and Sainthood Twenty-five years after her execution, in 1456, a posthumous retrial was held at the request of Charles VII, who had by then regained control of most of France. This retrial, often referred to as Joan's Rehabilitation, declared her innocent of the charges of heresy and condemned the original trial as unjust and politically motivated. Joan was fully exonerated, and her reputation as a faithful and pious servant of God was restored. Over the centuries, Joan's legacy continued to grow. She became a symbol of French nationalism, especially during times of conflict. Her story was invoked during the Napoleonic Wars, the Franco-Prussian War, and both world wars, particularly during World War I, when France looked to her as a figure of resilience and unity in the face of adversity. In 1920, nearly five centuries after her death, Joan of Arc was canonized as a saint by the Roman Catholic Church. Her feast day is celebrated on May 30, the anniversary of her martyrdom. Legacy Joan of Arc's life and deeds have left an indelible mark on history. Her story transcends her time, serving as a symbol of faith, courage, and determination. She was a young woman with no formal military training, yet she managed to lead armies to victory and alter the course of the Hundred Years' War. Her belief in her divine mission, combined with her sheer willpower and charisma, allowed her to rise above the deeply entrenched gender and social norms of the time. Joan's impact on France was immense. Her victories and unwavering faith inspired the French people to continue their fight for sovereignty, which eventually led to the end of the Hundred Years' War and the expulsion of the English from French soil. France emerged as a united kingdom, with a renewed sense of identity, thanks in no small part to Joan's contributions. Today, Joan of Arc is remembered not only as a military leader but also as a symbol of justice, patriotism, and faith. Her story has been retold countless times in literature, art, film, and theater, and she remains an enduring figure of inspiration for people across the world. Key Accomplishments Lifting the Siege of Orleans, April 29 to May 8, 1429 led French forces to break the English siege. Inspiring national pride, embodied French resistance against English occupation. Crowning of Charles VII, played a crucial role in the coronation, July 17, 1429. French heroine, became an iconic symbol of French patriotism. Catholic saint, canonized in 1920 for her faith and martyrdom. Enduring inspiration, continues to inspire art, literature, and popular culture. Conclusion Joan of Arc's remarkable life and legacy continue to captivate people worldwide. Her bravery, faith, and determination in the face of overwhelming adversity serve as a powerful reminder of the human spirit's capacity for greatness. Joan of Arc's life was short, but her legacy is eternal. She rose from obscurity to become one of the most important figures in French history, leaving an undeniable impact on both her country and the world. Through her faith, courage, and leadership, Joan defied the odds and became a symbol of national pride and resilience. Her story continues to inspire generations, embodying the timeless ideals of heroism, sacrifice, and unwavering commitment to one's beliefs. Joan of Arc's legacy is a complex one, reflecting the complexities of the historical period in which she lived. While she is often remembered as a heroic figure, 
it is important to acknowledge the challenges and contradictions of her life. Her story is a reminder of the power of faith, the importance of courage, and the enduring human spirit.